everybody, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and since I've played Animal Crossing for over 300 plus hours, I wanted to take some time and possibly, you know, get some insight to Nintendo in hopes that if you're watching this Nintendo or anybody from the team that is doing Animal Crossing, maybe you'll fix this. I mean, we've tweeted about it, we've asked kindly, and now maybe if I just do a rant video, You'll fix these situations to where more people will want to play Animal Crossing and not give up on it in two, three months. Now, gripe number one is when you're playing Animal Crossing, you'll come into the island and you'll find a bunch of characters that'll help you out. There will be a character for the bugs, a character for the fish, CJ and Spike, and you get all of them. Like, there's... Red, who gets you the paintings and the fine art, they only come about once every week or two weeks. So when they show up, you want to give them everything you've hoarded. All your fish, all your bugs, all your stuff. And you want to get collectibles, you want to buy this, you want to buy that. Why are you limiting me to one per time? I don't understand this. If CJ shows up, I want to give him all my fish to do all the collectibles and everything like that. Not one. I hoarded all my fish that I had collected three of, which is hard to do for some rare fish. Uh, sunfish, uh, Napoleon, I think that's what the other one's called. I took me forever to finally get the three fish that I need to give to him. And when I gave to him the first time after hoarding everything, I was shocked and surprised to see that, no, you can't. You can only do one per time. Why are you making it so hard and difficult for me to go in and get more fish afterwards. I don't go in all the time and look for them. And sometimes they're hard to find. If I have an island that's massive, they're hiding in the playing site, but they're around. So if you're not paying attention, you don't go explore all of your island, you might miss them. That's another thing. Like, why are they so difficult to find? Why are they not announced by Isabel? Like, hey, you announced when there was a suspicious character the first time for Red. Why don't you do that every time CJ and Spike and everybody who's in there are there? Not every character is right in front of Nook Town or right in the center of your island waiting there for you. They're walking around. Their AI is always on the move. In a half an hour, they could be one part of the island and then you come back after taking a break and they'll be on the other island part. It's like they're on west, east, south, you know, north. It, it, it never is in one spot. So can you please, for the life of me, get somewhere to where I can not have to do just one per time and make it to where I can see them and know that they're there. Isabel is a great feature. Why don't you just utilize her more? The billboard doesn't work for me. I never check the billboard enough. And even when there's an owl, the owl goes away. <laughs> It doesn't show up that same time that I'm there that day that is supposed to happen in the event. So I forget. I don't set reminders or timers on anything for any of my stuff for Animal Crossing, so when you announce that there's a character for that, I don't use I don't know it's there. So please stop doing the one per thing for CJ and, and Red and all them and, and just give them a notification like, hey, they're here on the island. Would you like to utilize them? That'd be great. Gripe number two is basically the same thing as when I talked about gripe number one, which is notifications. I don't know when anything is going on in my Animal Crossing Kingdom. And yes, I've played over 300 plus hours. I don't have a calendar on my app. I don't have a calendar for anything. I don't know when my Islanders' birthdays are going on. I don't know when anything is going on until like the week before. So to set up time, to have anything, to be able to check to, you have an app that is for voice chat. Why don't you have an app for, you know, any of the games that you want to like connect with your phone? That would be great. I could utilize that more instead of a third party app that you have to go in physically and put all your stuff in. I have friends like Lacey who they do that all the time because they're, they're, you know, that, that's a sort of style. But for me, I just can't do that. I just can't go in and take my time and do everything like that. So if you had an app that synced to your phone where it automatically saw that your character was in this island and this is all the stuff that's going on for the, the whole month or year, 
I would be appreciating that more because that would tell me, hey, September 14th, I know that this person's birthday is going to be on. Here's a notification reminder. Set it up to your phone. It clicks and immediately goes bing. Hey, guess what? You don't want to forget so-and-so's birthday. Why don't you go say hi to them? Why don't you go give them a time and, and give them some appreciation? Not just a billboard thing. And I understand that there's a lot of people who play Animal Crossing and there's a lot of servers. But yet we pay for that. We pay for the $20 for the maintenance fee. So I don't know why I can't like get an app downloaded. Even some of the easiest apps to use ask for just a dollar. And I don't mind paying a dollar. Like if you just charge a dollar for every single person who downloads the app, you're going to pay tenfold for everything and not have to worry about anybody going in and forgetting stuff. That's another reason why a lot of people aren't playing anymore because they've done everything that they feel like they need to do. And then there's no notification popping up or a bing that goes, hey, guess what? You know, you, you kind of missed out on something. Like, wouldn't you want that to happen again? Like, if I got a bing on my notification on my phone, I'd be like, oh, snap, I did forget about that event. Let me go run it really quick, play for a couple hours because I've been working, I've been doing this. Life is happening, Nintendo, and you're not going to remember. It's just too difficult for a game that it's a lot of stuff to collect. I'm just barely going to catch the fish and the bugs if I'm going to forget everything else. And if the events, I don't remember them, I'm not going to be at them. So the next gripe is the events are the same every time. I am getting bored with the bug off and with the fishing event and with any event that is the same repetitive thing over and over again. Now I understand that you have to make it the same for other characters, but it's a simple switch to where you can go to the red or you can go to the character that's running it like Isabel or whoever's running it at that time and tell them. Would you like the same stuff because you missed out on the first event? Or would you like to have a different option? Like, I would love that if my character that I'm going to say, Hey, you know what? You haven't played. Would you like to play the old one from the very first one to collect those items? Yes, you're not going to get the stamp for that date, but you're going to get a stamp for it and you start fresh brand new. Not you miss out on that, that event at all. I mean, yes, there is perks for going to every single bug off and every single fishing event but to me I don't want to keep doing the same repetitive thing and getting the same prizes I mean to me the whole point of Animal Crossing is collecting new things getting new stuff doing new events and whenever I see bug off now or I see the fishing event I'm just like uh oh, same thing again can we get new prizes? I just want something different other than just like, here's your, your t-shirt and here's your other item. And yes, they collectively go together to make it to where you can get the gold prize at the very end. If you do keep going, you can get the gold trophy, but I really don't care about that. I'd rather have new clothing items. I'd rather have new stuff for whatever's going on for you say like as much as you can do something. That would be great if I could just go in and have new prizes. Now the next one is one that I've been seeing circulating around with Nintendo and my characters in my village. Why, for the life of me, I don't understand. It makes no sense. Yes, I've seen other Animal Crossing characters, you know, say, oh, I haven't seen you forever. Where would you go? You, I thought you were not my friend anymore. But that was just a funny, quirky thing that I was just like, okay, whatever, the character does that. But now you're going to the extreme, Nintendo, where you are now harassing people through email and other things like that. That's going to turn people off. Stop sending emails to our inboxes saying, hey, we've missed you for this many months, or we missed you for this week, or we, we missed you for da 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 I don't care. If I'm playing a game, I'm playing a game. Stop harassing me to play games that I haven't played in forever. I don't mind the occasional update on what's going on with something, you know, to bring you back in. Fortnite does that all the time. I have multiple times where I didn't play for like several seasons and I would get just an update like, hey, there's an event going on. Just FYI, if you haven't been in the game forever and you haven't seen the posters, you might want to check out this event. That is more 
what I would like to see is you telling me, hey, I know you haven't been in the game forever. I, get, I haven't get a notification from that. Would you like to know, like, hey, there's this event going on? Might get you back into the spirit of going back into Animal Crossing. So that's that's another thing. Like, you tell me, like, oh, your, an your, your animal, fake Animal Crossing characters, no less, are missing you. But they're fake. They're told by you to s what to say. If if I go to a dream, the characters are saying what the person who runs that island is saying. So it's basically you guys telling me that I miss you. It's like a weird relationship. Like a stalker. Like, you haven't been around this area. I can't stalk you anymore. I can't get data from you. A little too much, uh, Nintendo. A little too much. So stop with the emails. And finally, I feel like the last gripe is basically kind of like the other ones where you might need to do more events. Something different. Something that is not the same old, same old every single day. Yes, you did announce that you're going to have Super Nintendo mesh with, you know, Mario Brothers and other things like that. But you've done that in the past. Shake it up. Do something different. Something that not the other Animal Crossing fanatics know about. Like, when I see something new, I haven't played an Animal Crossing game at all because I didn't have an N64 or a GameCube. But several of my other friends who played Animal Crossing their whole lives, they know, oh, yeah, 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 we used to get that in this game and we got that in this game and we got this in that game. I understand where you're coming from, that you want to have multiple stuff that is from the previous games show up in there and bring nostalgia back. When you did that event where we went to the island, just that island that was a maze and stuff like that, I didn't understand what was going on. I was bored. I did the puzzle and called it a day. Like I and it was a one-time thing. So if you didn't do it, you didn't do it. Like you were done. So anybody who backed out left, they were just done. But to me, I didn't care if I would have backed out. So that nostalgia thing doesn't work for first-time players. So kind of like switch it up. Do something that nobody knows about. Like do an event that when you do something, it goes, oh, wow, I'm going to play this again. And I'm going to be so excited about that. I'm waiting for next year for excitement because... As much as I'm excited and hyped for everything, all the custom players are playing and time hopping and already know what's going to happen in fall and summer of next year and all that stuff. And it's like, change it up. Do something different. Do something that not everybody's going to know about. And that might bring more players in other than your emails because they're just a... So that is basically my pet peeves for Animal Crossing. I love the game. It's not one of those games that is fast paced or whatever. It's take your time, escape from the world, do different things. But when they do events that are kind of like the egg events for Easter, where it's all up in your face and annoying, you kind of get turned off. So. Hopefully Nintendo hears us and understands that we want events, but we want something that brings in a fun experience for everybody. And I like trading. So hopefully Nintendo hears us. We can start trading again. I miss that. I want more Animal Crossing stuff to where I can go look for things. I can go find stuff and I can bring in my friends and we can all go out. <laughs> You know, just island hopping and, and, and bring Animal Crossing back to us in our little niche of what we were doing before. So let me know in the comments below. What are some of your pet peeves for Animal Crossing that you've seen that you're just like, really, Nintendo? Why? And thank you for watching. If you made it to the very end, hashtag Yas. It's one of those things that I do if you're new to the channel. Gotta have some more Yas in your life. <laughs> So if you are new, hit the sub button. Helps out the channel. Hope you're having a great day. And if not, I hope this video brightened your day a little bit more. Remember, keep on gaming. Have fun in your life. Or find somebody that gives you that joy.
So catch you next video and I'm gonna go play some more Animal Crossing. Bye everybody. Linda the Gamer Girl, she's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl, she's here, she's playing games too.